Welcome to Everyday Cooking with Anne. Today we're on a breakfast thread and I'm going to teach you how to make uh, homemade maple syrup. Now I have tried real maple syrup and it doesn't have half the flavor that um, actually this is fake maple syrup and we have been uh, having the syrup on our pancakes since I was a little child. So pancakes or waffles, whatever you want to put maple syrup on, this is a great substitute. So let me show you how to make, how simple it is to make this, to always have it on hand for your children or your family, whatever you need. I have in my small pan, saucepan, a one cup of water, and it's coming to a boil right now. I'm going to be adding one cup of white sugar. Now you can do two cups of white sugar if you want, but we always prefer brown sugar. So the next cup that goes in will be brown sugar. Okay, you're going to mix this up till it comes to a nice rolling boil again. Now let me tell you a little bit about my maple syrup. This is a uh, a big large quart size maple syrup that I buy at Orson Gigi. It's in Salt Lake City, Utah. You can order it and have them ship it to you if you want a lot like me. Through and This lasts like forever. It's been in my pantry. So it's a maple flavoring and you can buy mapleine at the store. It comes in a little blue box at uh, you know down the um, baking aisle and that works just as well. But it only has a couple of tablespoons in there and you spend a lot of money on it. And I didn't spend very much for this, like maybe eight dollars. So if this if your family eats a lot of syrup and pancakes and waffles, um, you can buy this too and order it. Okay, so my syrup is boiling. I'm gonna turn it down here to low. And you know, whatever your preference is on how much syrup, how much you want, I mean I always put about a tablespoon in here. Not quite a whole teaspoon. Probably a teaspoon is enough, but I like a really strong maple, mapley taste. And another thing I do is I add in a couple of tablespoons of butter too. I'm going to let that melt in there. Now, as soon as you make this, as soon as you make this, you can serve it. But a lot of people like to wait until it thickens up. If you put it in a little jar or a bowl, put a lid on it, keep it in the refrigerator, it'll thicken up like a very thick syrup. I'm going to pour this right into my just glass measuring cup. And it's ready to serve on your pancakes or waffles right away. There you go. It can cool a little bit too. I would like you to look at my, one of my other videos that teaches you how to make a pancakes and waffles as well.